17th of September 1944, the 48th day of the Warsaw Uprising. If by now you think that this series has gone on for a long time, imagine what it was like to be fighting and living inside Warsaw throughout all of this period. And this fight not only went up until now, it went on for very much longer as well. In the incredibly difficult and unsanitary conditions uh, the Warsaw found itself in, diseases at this time start to break out. Václav Zagorski's underground resistance friend, Tadeusz, is cut in half by a mortar explosion in front of Václav. And he suddenly finds himself reflecting on the fact that he doesn't actually really know anything about Tadeusz. Such was the level of secrecy that the underground kept in those long years of resistance. The same is also true of another hero uh, from this season, uh, Bogdan Dembinski, who didn't even know that his brother, who was living in the same house, was also a member of the resistance. But at least for the first time, help is at hand, and soldiers of the 1st Polish Army of the Red Army uh, are across and they're here to help. The Polish Home Army marvel at the equipment that they bring with them. But the Soviet Army had none of the close quarter tactical experience that the Polish Home Army had paid such a price in blood and lives to learn. And the Russian commanders of these Polish troops care little about their men as far as they're concerned, they're expendable. So consequently, the losses of these farm boys who were sent out into the open and shot down in their droves are very heavy indeed. General Bor Komorowski, the leader of the Polish Home Army, tries desperately to make contact uh, with the Russians who are massing on the eastern side of the river. He sends over seven soldiers and despite taking three days, they're unable to make contact. He tries to set up a radio link, but that fails. And he even plans to use underground cables to establish a constant telephone line, but that doesn't work either. In London, representatives of the Polish government are making treaties to the Russians, but are kicked out. Yet more signs that, despite the piecemeal help that's been sent over, the Soviets are determined not to assist in any meaningful way. Reports come into the Home Army that on the eastern side of the river, the Russians are arresting anyone who belongs to the Home Army. Uh, they're sending the officers off to the gulags and they're press ganging the uh, privates uh, and junior members of the Home Army into service on their side. Thank you very much for watching this episode of 63 Days of Extraordinary Courage, where every day we tell the inspiring, tragic story of the Warsaw Uprising. Don't forget to tune in to tomorrow's episode at 5 p.m. Warsaw time, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, where we'll tell the story of one of the largest airdrops that ever came to Warsaw's aid.